and I slapped on some JB Weld. There he goes. I gotta fill you guys in on some stuff. I installed these pedals on Wednesday, and that was the day before I left to my trip. I left to DC and New Orleans for nine days. And when I posted the video about me installing these pedals, I got a co comment from Arman I fly high asking did I fix the bolt and I responded saying like yeah the bolt got in the day after I filmed this video I filmed the video Wednesday the bolt got there Thursday but I left Thursday morning for my trip so when I responded to his comment I was like yeah the bolt got there the day after I made that video and in my head I'm thinking it's ready to go when I get home I'll just screw it in and, and we'll be chilling. Turns out I ordered the wrong freaking bolt. But in my defense, the actual bolt that I needed isn't listed under my model of bike. It's listed under a Furious V3 downhill bike. But in the description, it says that it's compatible with the Clash seat stay axle. And it wasn't even available in the US. I had to order it from Europe. I paid in euros, I think it was like 39 euros which is equivalent to like 40 bucks so that all happened and you might be wondering like well if you didn't get the right bolt what are you riding on and i'm about to show you so there you have it it is the old bolt and i slapped on some jb weld on top of it it chipped right here because i was scraping it off with a utility knife because I couldn't fit the T-handle the in there. And as I was scraping, it just chipped off. But it's holding, it's, there's no cracks or anything. So I have my fingers crossed that this is gonna work. I don't recommend doing this. This is a really dumb idea and I'm fully aware of the, the consequences that might come from this. But I'm too impatient, man. I've been off the bike for like two weeks and I haven't ridden. So I really wanted to just get this bolt in and dialed pretty much. So we're gonna see how it handles. I also am really eager to try out these pedals. Like this, the entire trip I was gone, I was just thinking about the pedals, thinking about the pedals. Luis, and we got Reaper right there. Dude, this bike does feel smoother. Everything from like, when I push on it, the pedals, the cranks, the shifting. All right, I have high hopes that this is gonna work on the climb. I just checked it out. Still looks solid. Well, not solid, but just there. I figured since the bolt's fully intact this way, and the force is gonna be pushed on the bolt that way, on my calculations. <laughs> After punching in my data, I got fingers crossed and uh, praying to the MTB gods that this run goes good. I'm not gonna go crazy, I just wanna chill. Uh, it's my first day back, but still kinda have some fun. On to five oaks. Hello? Uh, I'm definitely holding back right now just because of the bolt. <laughs> I'm trying to be as like light as I possibly can on this back end. Oh man, my friend is going. 
fast. Dude, but these pedals are really impressive. Oh, yep. Crazy. Oh, dude, everything is so loose. Dry. So good, my friend. I'm digging the the bike feel. It's just the trail feeling that I have to get used to. Like being off the these trails and understanding how loose everything is. Oh man. It is still holding. I am really impressed. <laughs> Other than that first crack we started with, every, everything else is intact. It feels good too, like nothing's off about it. Dude, this bike is feeling incredible. Like the shifting, the suspension, it feels like a brand new bike. But yeah, man, I'm impressed. I think I, uh, I did a solid job. With the service other than breaking the vault but you know we, we won't talk about that have fun gents oh okay Super glued in, baby. There he goes. Fast as lightning. Oh. oh my goodness. Dude. My foot, it kind of moved a little and then it got stuck because the pedals are so grippy. So good, my friend. This is where he fell last time. You cleaned that though. Very nice. It's so loose, you know. Same line choices, but just different ground. You gotta be careful, really. Some people might be coming up. Alright. Oh, this last little piece. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Oh, we're still good. <laughs> nice and toasty. We just did the stair steps climb and the sun started creeping. Dude, but the morning was perfect. Overcast, it was nice. Now we're feeling. Now we're warm. Yeah, we're, we're feeling. It's still good though. Ocean breeze. Can't complain. All right, friends. We wanted to enter from the top up here just so we can gain some speed into that entrance i personally don't like going into that without any speed i feel like it's not as fun Whoa. Feels like I'm pedaling forever. All right, this one I think I'm gonna push a little bit just to see how that frame bolt holds up. And to get a real good idea of how these pedals 
grit. <laughs> Two more coming down. There's two more behind us. Oh, I was trying to speak and think at the same time. And I lost my footing. Big old rut. Second piece, collect myself. Rider. Rider, rider. He's uh, two more coming down. They put little flags. Jeez. Oh. Boy. Dude. boys good sessions good laps yes sir So we're climbing up to Five Oaks. We got Gabriel, Gabriel, and Gabriel. I can't make this up. Triple G's. Triple G's. The goats. That's funny, man. I got double e-bike, man. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right, man. Enjoy. Be safe, Pepper. Bom, 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 bom. Dude, that wind is keeping me alive. Mama, mama. Oh man, that's loose. That's loosey goosey. Damn, it's hard to see everything. Ooh. He's like throwing me in the dust.
Dude, it's even worse right now with how loose it is. Especially with all the dust that you catch behind the rim. I got blinded right there. Money runs. I did feel way better. We'll catch a session again, yeah, bro. We're, sure. we're usually out here all always on the weekends and stuff. Okay. Here, I do a diesel. Uh, good ride, right? good meeting you, bro. Nice to meet you, bro. Take care. Yeah, enjoy your day. Uh, 12 miles, three hours and 17 minutes. Solid runs. JB Weld held up. It's still intact, still holding up. That piece was already broken from earlier this morning when I was scraping it off. I accidentally chipped it, but the entire glue is still intact. It's still solid. Today's ride hit very different. Like I desperately needed to get out there and just be on my bike. Two weeks off the bike for me is a long time. And just riding my bike is, is like medicine to my physical health, to my mental health. I feel more of like myself again, you know, like um, not as, as down, I guess. Like I was, I had fun on vacation with my family and my wife, but damn, I definitely missed my bike and riding. So the first thing I want to touch base on are the pedals. And my first ride impression on the pedals were great like i am really impressed with the way i felt on those pedals and i think it has a lot to do with the shape they use and they have it you know like hugging your foot because those pins don't look any longer than any other pedal out there on the market but i think the design and the shape of the platform is so well thought out that it makes your foot uh, sink into the pedal. It, it was a pretty interesting experience and I'm not just saying this or trying to hype it up Like I can say whatever I want about the pedals, but I'm just being real with you guys Like I had a, a really good experience with them and I was right I don't need longer pins those pins are perfect and it's mainly because of how well the pedal is shaped to where it hugs your foot it, it's captures your foot and the pin length is, is perfect in my opinion. So yeah, really impressed with those pedals. I tip my hat off to the whole crew at Yoshimura for making something so legit. Second thing I want to touch base on is my frame bolt. So as I was explaining earlier, uh, my frame bolt got here. It got delivered the same day I left on vacation. So it got delivered and in my head as I'm, you know, on vacation, I'm thinking, sick, I'll get home. I'll just install the bolt. I'll be good to go. So I thought my bike was ready. I come home and then I find out that the bolt is not the right size. But it was on my part, you know, I just misread something and I ordered the wrong bolt. But to be fair, the new bolt that I ordered isn't even categorized for this frame. Like it's under the Fury uh, V3 or Furious V3, which is the downhill model of the, a bike that Comensal makes. And uh, it wasn't available in the US, so I had to pay, you know, from, from the Europe, uh, distribution I guess so we'll see when that comes in I think uh, today's Saturday they'll probably give me a an order number on Monday I'm sure they're closed on the weekends so that all happened with the bolt you know but me being as impatient as I am I got some JB weld I got the old bolt and I, I kind of put a, a bead at the top I don't recommend doing that that is a pretty dumb idea and you shouldn't do it like I, I probably won't ride this bike anymore and I'll just ride the hardtail just because I don't want to potentially damage did I say that right? potentially yeah potentially damage the frame I don't know if I damaged it right now it looks solid it looks really good and like everything's still in place threads look good but I was just so eager to try out these pedals and test out all the linkage on the frame that I just had to to get out here so Yes, JB Weld works, but no, I don't recommend it for for your frame bolts. Just order the bolt or find the bolt and swap it out. About to get this Apple 
in my stomach and get this day started. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you on the next ride.